Hi, I'd like to go over a problem with you today, a challenge question of sorts on the ideal gas law. This is a hard question, but I want to see if we can try to look at it and explore it together. It says here, how many additional moles of gas would have to be added to a flask? containing two moles of gas initially at 25 Celsius and 1 ATM in order to increase the pressure to 1.60 atmospheres under conditions of constant temperature and volume. So what I want to do is I want to add some additional moles to my flask and move the pressure up to 1.60 atmospheres. Maybe a little bit of overkill, but this is worth doing. No, Dr. Romano, it's not overkill. These are the problems that got me into five dental schools. Well, good for you. I'm glad to hear you got into five dental schools. I'm very proud of you. So sometimes overkill is a good thing. Let's have a look. The first thing I'm going to do is write the ideal gas law of PV equals NRT. Now, the initial pressure is one. We don't know the initial volume. We're going to start off with two moles because it says 2.00. There's the R and there's the T. Don't worry about the numbers not being so nice. On the DAT destroyer and on the DAT exam, the numbers will be perfect. So even if you wanted to do this with a calculator, that's fine, as long as you know the concept. So what we did is we found the volume of the flask. Now that doesn't change. And because we know that the volume and the temperature won't change. So once we got the constant volume, well, we got the total volume, we're gonna now use PV equals NRT a second time. This is going to represent my new conditions. Well, the new conditions of pressure, we want 1.60. We know the volume, we know the temperature, and we know the constant. That gives me the total number of moles now. The total number of moles comes out to be 3.2 moles. But that's not what they're asking. They want to know how many additional moles. So we know the total is going to be 3.2. We started with 2 moles. So 2 plus some number is going to be 3.2, so we need to add 1.2 moles of additional gas to the flask. I hope this gives you a great idea of how to do a PV equals NRT problem. I was going to put this in the Dot Destroyer book, but I thought I'd share it with you instead of waiting to, for next year's problems to write up. All right, I hope that helps. If you got any questions on this, hit me up on the Facebook study group. All right, good day to you.